Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody, coast to coast, This Week in America. Our guest on today's This Week in America is Dr. Jerry Heller, author of the delightful children's book, Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain. Will's grandmother has told Will about the Candy Mountain since he was a small child. Well, one night, Will is awakened by the conductor of a train. He's told to hurry to catch the train. What train, he wondered? Well, the train to Candy Mountain, of course. On the train, he meets a boy named Quinn, and they decide to go on an adventure together. Will can hardly believe he's going to the Candy Mountain. Together, there are many decisions to make. Each one is more mysterious than the last. What will they find? What decisions will they make? All in the story, Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain. Dr. Haller is an accomplished educator. She's received many awards for being outstanding in teaching, curriculum, and administrative fields, including being recognized by the Carnegie Foundation for her teaching in the inner city of Chicago, receiving the Phi Delta Kappa Award for being the outstanding principal of the year. She has taught various classroom level from pre-kindergarten to sixth grade reading, as well as teaching at risk, gifted bilingual and regular education students. Dr. Heller's experience uh, spanning as a principal of an elementary school and assistant principal of Gifted Center, a trainer of principals and teachers through the Academy for Professional Growth as instructor trainer, and now author, Dr. Jerry Heller, author of Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain, is our guest on This Week in America. Dr. Heller, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. What a, an outstanding job you did on this book and all of that education. We'll talk about that during the course of the program. A gifted educator and now a gifted author as well. The first book, where did this inspiration come from, from for the book, Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain? Well, that was from my grandson, Will. Every time I would read him the story, he would say to me, Grandma, you have to write this story. He says, all children in the world need to hear you. And he kept bugging me and bugging me <laughs> about it. So finally, one day I sat down and I wrote it. And that's how it all started. That all started. And now this message that uh, you know was in the household before is out to so many kids and getting excellent reviews. The book is Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain by Dr. Jerry Haller. I get the impression not only with education has made you happy because you've touched so many lives, you're happy being a writer as well. Just in talking about the book, a big smile on your face. What makes you happy about writing, about being an author? You know what it really was? I couldn't believe it. It was the smiles on the children's faces when they would take my book and look at it. They would, they would page through it. And then all of a sudden, they would just hold it up and look at it, and the smile on their face was unbelievable. I see that everywhere I go. So for me as an author, it's just seeing those faces with those great big smiles makes me feel good that Will talked me into writing this book. <laughs> and the book is Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain by Dr. Jerry Haller. The book's available at Amazon, the usual places where books are, are sold. And we'll have a link on our website so you can link on directly to Dr. Haller's book and get information on that. Talk a little bit more about the response for the book. It's designed for children. We'll talk about the, the target group. But I'm hearing, hearing parents talking about this is just a delightful children's book. And we all can learn from the messages in Will's book, can't we? Yeah, I, you know, there's been a lot of people who have uh, written reviews on my book and mainly their, their moms. Um, let's see, I'm turning around because I have a list of the reviews that I have um, gotten on the book. Um, serious um Serious Sunshine State of Mind. Uh, she's put out a review on the book, and and it goes through every single page on the book, and she just loves the book. She says, I would buy that for my child. Um, Groovin Moms. Um, it's uh, mainly a lot of mother places. Cassandra M., who also does reviews on books. Um, so I find that there's a lot of mothers who are interested in the book and want to write reviews on it. And they've been wonderful. I really didn't expect this. All this has been a real surprise for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, they understand the the positive message. It's an entertaining, charming story as well. And you have messages in, in the book as well. Talk about some of the messages. What points you want to make to young people, probably the same messages you made when you were in the classroom, that you're making to them in the book, Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain. Right. It's like messages in the classroom, yes. even as being a principal, because um, the children were just, uh, you know, you had your rough start in the beginning, but then the next year, they were just wonderful. They loved to be at school. And the message in um, Will's book talks about the fact that if you are a very good, exceptionally good child, you get to go to the Candy Mountain. So that's why Will is like, surprised that he's going to the candy mountain and they they talk about being good when he um loses his basket and he's coming back from the candy mountain his friend quinn says to him why don't i give you half of what i have and he says that's okay quinn it's the memories that count so it's telling children that um, if you're a good child and you respect people, you respect your grandmother and you respect your friends and everybody, there's a big reward for that. And that reward is being a specially good person. So um, there's just a lot of messages in there about, you know, being um, good to others and good to your family um, I don't know. Just can you hear my dog barking? I, the dog, your dog wants to go to Candy Mountain too. I get the impression there are the good things going on, and would like to uh, to go to Candy Mountain. With us on the program is Dr. Jerry Haller. She's the author of the book Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain. Books available at Amazon wherever books are sold. Mention moms being interested in this. What other interest groups are out there that have uh, expressed interest in the book? Well, the motherhood movement, um, the um, grandmothers, um, Cassandra M., um, who works with um, talking to mothers, um, Serious Sunshine State of Mind. Um, she reviews books all the time and talks to moms about, you know, um, who, what type of books she'd want to read to her own children. And on and on her um, page, it goes through my book page by page by page, talking about why it's such a, a good book. Um, so I've been finding that mother groups have been, I, I've been interviewed by uh, another mother's group. And it seems like I, you know, all the mother's groups are really excited about me writing this book. How should parents of younger children go about reading the book to their children? And I say that because I'm reading this great book for the child to read, a great book for the child to read possibly to the parents or the parents to read to the child. Uh, you've got such a powerful story in there, an entertaining and powerful story. What's the best way for parents to, to interact with younger children in reading the book? Well, the little children, there's 60 pages in it. So it's hard for you to read every single word. So you summarize the page, you look at the picture and you summarize it and you just go on through it. And even to, to showing them the page and talking about the page, that's the way they will go through 60 pages. Yes. Because it is a long book. I, I got carried away. <laughs> well, it's a great message, as I say. The book is, is doing quite well, remarkably well. It's really catching on. The book is Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain by Dr. Jerry Haller. And if you go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, you can link on to, uh, to where the book's available. Of course, I would start with Amazon. The book is there as well as, as the other places. Let's talk a little bit about the illustrations in the book. It's beautifully illustrated uh, talk about that and having the illustrations there to, to complement the text and, and the message you're getting across. Uh, I, I fell upon a very, very talented um, Y. Cho um, who was going to the um, Art Institute, which is here in Chicago. And um, I worked with her on it. I also have a degree in art. I've spent eight years... Uh, you know, with art in, in high school and then in um, college. 
So I was able to help her along. She was from Korea and a lot of things weren't like things she would think about, like going on a train and looking out the window oh, yes. and what you would see there. So I would draw things with her and help her out with, you know, getting these things done. But she was really talented. She is so excited that people are talking about her artwork. Um, she's done a great job. I thought about drawing it myself, but I thought, you know, I'm too close to it. Let somebody else do it. And I started with one artist and um, that didn't really work out. But Y Cho is just fantastic. The colors, the candy. Um, we went to a candy store together so she could see all the different kinds of candy. And um, she really did a great job with it. The book is Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain by Dr. Jerry Haller. Mentioned before, it's the, the first book that you've written. What type of problems did you run into? What should new authors be aware of? They write the book, they've got this creative idea, uh, and now it's time to get started. Any particular problems you had as a first-time author? You know what? It's like getting the book written and putting it all together was great because I chose somebody who studied uh, was studying how to, to um, illustrate books. But the hardest part is you don't realize when you're out there, what book company you choose is so very important because some of these companies, and I happen to accidentally get the, the worst company by far at first. And, um, you know, the one they tell you to stay away from, well, I think that our, um, when you write a book, you have to really check and find out what you're doing. Some companies you give your books to, um, they take the rights away from you. And so to, it was important to me to keep my rights. So um, it's my book. And why should a book company have the right to sell exactly. my book? Yes. And I don't. With us on the program, Dr. Jerry Haller. Jerry is G-E-R-R-Y, Haller, H-A-L-L-E-R. If you're Googling, the book's available at Amazon. World's Adventure to the Candy Mountain. Kindness is a very important part of, of one of the messages in the book. Why do you feel that's so important to, to teach kindness? And I'm sure a lot of that goes back to the years you spent uh, in the classroom. Yes, I, I did. Because, you know, it's like um, some children can be very wicked. I mean, things that you see um, in movies and that it's hard for... Well, I remember as a child growing up, too, that there there were wicked... Um, people who would taunt you or say bad things about you or make fun of you. And so it's very good for children to learn to be good. My school, everybody was good to everybody. We were all knights of the round table because we had round tables in every classroom. We didn't have desks. And so everybody at a table helped each other out. And when they went outside to play, they were all good kids who didn't fight with each other. Uh, I couldn't believe how good they were, and the teachers were so happy, the children were so happy, the parents were so happy. So being good is an important thing to be when you are in school, really important. I think it's the most important thing of all. What is the main goal for your book? What do you hope to accomplish? And I believe from what I'm reading, you are well on your way to doing that. But when you started writing the book, what did you hope the, the, the reader, the, patient, the, the parent and the child took away from the book? Um, you know, it's funny, but what, what I was doing and what it was all about for me was writing the book for Will and hoping that every child in the world would read it because that was Will's wish. And, um, and Will is an exceptionally good person. He has a good heart and he's kind. And, you know, I, I don't think he says a bad thing to anybody. So I think I'm, I'm hoping that all children will get from the book that it's so important to be good, that you get rewards um, when you are good. And that's that everybody likes you. Do you find with all the years in the classroom, sometimes you can stand up and you can talk about kindness, you can talk about consideration. Maybe it doesn't resonate, but you do a story like this where the, 
the young readers are able to relate to characters like Will, what Will is going through, the way Will talks, the colors in the book. Is reading a, a special way to get through to, uh, to young readers that maybe might not get the message in another way? Right. Well, you know, when you in school, when you read a book to a child, um, you talk about it afterward and you ask the children, what did they learn from it? What did they think about it? Even in kindergarten and preschool, they can tell you it's unbelievable. Um, we had a, a boy that caused havoc in our one of our classrooms just one time and he had the chicken pox and while he was away, the children talked to me about it. What are, what are we going to do? Because look at how nice it is here without him. And, I, and we came to the conclusion that the important thing was to let him know that we didn't like what he was doing. So when he came back and he would knock down what everybody, what, what a group of children were building, they looked right at him and they said, I don't like that, don't do it again. And anytime he did something bad, he said, they said to him, I don't like that, don't do that. And he was like getting this from everywhere. And he went down over and he sat down in a timeout chair, which let me know that timeout chairs are not a good place for children. So um, I stopped using a timeout chair, but he sat down and he thought about it. And I went over and I talked to him about it. And he realized for the first time that what he was doing was not gaining friends, yes. but causing, you know, people that didn't like him. So he really turned around. He was a good kid. Fascinating. Um, we could spend hours talking about education. We've got a few minutes left to talk about the book, but it's, it's all those experiences that uh, you were able to pull together to write this book, Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain by Dr. Dr. Jerry Haller, our guest on the program. Are you working on another book? Is there something else you're working on? I mean, you've gone through the first one. You've learned a lot. Will there be a second? Um, yes, there's going to be. Um, and I'm already in the middle of writing it. Um, I wanted to say one more thing about why it's important to be kind. It, it, because kindness in words creates confidence. And kindness in thinking cr creates profoundness. And kindness in giving creates love. So I'm writing a story about two brothers who love each other. And I'm, you know, it's funny. It's, 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 it's about a, a three-year-old who all of a sudden mom and dad come home with a baby brother. And mother tells them that this is your best friend forever. And it's just all about how they they grow together. And every time he does something good, like holding the baby for the first time, he says, that's what you do when you love your brother. So the book is all about loving your brother. And, and, and then um, in the end, the brother gives that love back by saying to him and kissing him on the forehead and saying, that's what you do when you love your brother. Well, it sounds like you have another winner there. I love the message there and the way you deliver it. And I'm waiting uh, anxiously for an opportunity to, to talk about that when that book comes out. We've got just a minute or so left in the program. Such an excellent job with Will's Adventure. Uh, talk about people that are listening, watching, thinking, I'd, I'd like to, I think my child would like that. Any words of advice to people out there who, who are interested in buying your book? Um, what what do you mean by that? Like where to go or? Well, what would you say to a parent? They're thinking about, I would like to have a book that would, uh, my child would, would entertain them. It would teach them a lesson. And I, and I guess maybe that, that sort of says it there that you would advise them to take it, to, to read it with them and, and to talk about the book. Right. I, I just think that, um, this book turned out far better than I had ever expected it would. And I believe that all children should read it like Will does because I see the faces on the children when they pick up this book and I see how excited they are when they hold it and they want to read it. I've been seeing brothers and sisters, older brothers and sisters who come to me and they want the book for their brother or sister. 
and they want to read it to them because they they feel all that goodness and kindness and everything that happened while they were on the Candy Mountain, the other adventures that they get into, because it's an adventure book as well, where they have to solve all these mysteries that come along. And um, and so Will and Quinn together solve the mysteries on the Candy Mountain and come back excited about it. You've got the my- last thing the last thing Will does is to run to his grandmother to tell her <laughs> wonderful time he had. Yep. Mystery, adventure, great messages, uh, beautifully illustrated. The book is Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain by Dr. Jerry Haller. And I just take 30 seconds here. As an author, as an educator, just as a, as a parent, there has to be something special when you see people responding, young people responding to to like this book. I, I can imagine there's it, it's a priceless feeling to have somebody that you've connected with through your work. It, it it really is. I I just really can't tell you how much I feel about the people who enjoy this book. I mean, Will told me that it would happen, but it's unbelievable to look. I look at the faces. I even gave it to my doctor. Um, he knew that I was writing the book, and he did the same thing when I gave it to him that the children did. He looked at the cover, he went through the pages, he just held it to his chest, and he looked at me and said, I can't wait to read this to my four-year-old. I'm going <laughs> home to read it right now. Well, And I, it was amazing. I think that sums it up pretty well there. Doctors know best, and in this case, uh, that's exactly the uh, the situation, knowing that uh, as a parent, I want to take this home and, uh, and read this at, at home with my child. Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain by Dr. Jerry Haller. Books available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, the usual places. Link on by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Dr. Haller, a pleasure. Congratulations on such a powerful uh, children's book, a children uh, picture book, story book. So well illustrated, so well done. Look forward to having you back on the program. We need to talk about education with uh, all of your distinguished career in education at some point and the new book when it's out. Thank you so much for being with us on the program. Oh, you're welcome. And I encourage any parent who wants to know something about what's going on in school with their child, they can always get a hold of me on my website. And the website is, what's the website, the best website to get a hold of you? Dr. Jerry, Dr. Uh, dot stories.com. Okay. I did not have that on my sheet here and I apologize for that. We will get that up with all the information. So all of that will be there. You get a contact with uh, Dr. Haller. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for being with us on the program. Look forward to having you back. Thank you for sharing some time with us. Okay, thank you so much. You are a wonderful person to speak with. Well, you're doing wonderful work and delighted to have you on our program. Dr. Jerry Heller, our guest, Will's Adventure to the Candy Mountain, the book. Information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Back after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.